Rebecca, better known as Just the Minx or simply Just Minx Online, is a 23-year-old live streamer from Ireland whose life has taken, as she put it, a complete U-turn since the beginning of this year. As you may or may not know, being a content creator isn't easy, and most of us usually don't expect to get anywhere doing this. Some of us even contemplate quitting at times. This was no different for Minx. As a matter of fact, she almost quit streaming at the beginning of this year. However, she ended up deciding not to quit because of her immense growth over the past past few months and the Rona pushing back her prison officer recruitment. Although recently she was unsure of whether or not she would continue live streaming since the prison officer opportunity came back up due to the Rona heavily subsiding in Ireland. But thanks to the support from her friends, fans, and family, she backed down and decided to delay taking the prison officer job in order to continue being a streamer. So thank god for that. Now to say that Minx's growth since January has been surreal is an understatement. Now, I don't want to see any of you in the comments section call me a minx simp all right her growth has been godlike at the start of this year she had about 19,000 twitch followers 8700 twitter followers and 1900 youtube subscribers and at the time of writing the script she's sitting at about 133,200 twitch followers 129,200 twitter followers and 56,300 youtube subscribers if we do the math that amounts to an increase of about 114,000 1,200 Twitch followers, 120,500 Twitter followers, and 54,400 YouTube subscribers. We can see that she's grown the most on Twitter and the least on YouTube. And you may be arguing that it's because she's got the juiciest, fattest ass on Twitch. However, you'd be surprised to find out that's not the case. In order to truly determine how Minx rose to such popularity in a mere matter of months, it's important that we cover her humble beginnings as a small Twitch streamer. Let's get into it. According to TwitchTracker.com, a website where you can see a streamer's analytics more thoroughly, Minx created her channel on September 13th, 2016, almost four years ago. Completely unrelated side note, but I love how the website tells you whether or not a streamer is considered to be quote-unquote mature content, and there's just an X next to it on Minx's profile, we all know that she's probably the most vulgar and mature female streamer out there. Anyways, back on topic. On the website under a tab titled Streams, a Cal calendar of Minx's streams can be found, dating back to as far as January of 2017. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to see any data from September of 2016 to December of 2016. However, if this is accurate, Minx didn't stream in 2017 until July 28th. On that date, the website tells us that Minx streamed Overwatch to a total of 5 viewers and the stream lasted for 102 minutes or 1.7 hours. From looking at this calendar, I was able to gather that Minx for the most part seemed to be an Overwatch streamer, occasionally playing other games or doing the odd IRL slash just chatting stream. Minx's first official blow up seems to have taken place on April 21st, 2018, where she was raided by what I can only assume is a VR chat streamer. In an eclipse simply titled LOL, she can be seen thanking the streamer for the raid and crying. Dirk. <laughs> I don't want to cry when new people come because I'm an ugly crier. Dirk, thank you. You didn't need to do that. Hello, 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 there. <laughs> thank you for the love. What the fuck? No. I'm not gonna cry. Fuck you guys. Thank you for following me. Because of this raid, Minx gained herself an extra 185 followers. Before this, she had only seen a mass increase in viewers thanks to someone botting her stream on November 16th, 2017. Aside from that one raid and nothing all that noteworthy could be found in 2018 for the most part, she would just average anywhere from 10 to 40 viewers with the occasional substantial increase in viewers, most likely due to raids or hosts from other streamers. However, as 2019 came around and went on, her average viewer count began to slowly but steadily rise, although it wasn't until November of 2019 when Minx truly started taking off in terms of average viewer counts. All of her streams from this point onward would average hundreds of viewers, with her first huge stream taking place on December 1st, 2019, where she had about 4,800 viewers. This is the first time that Minx broke with the thousands in terms of viewers, aside from the botting incident, but that doesn't count for obvious reasons. Currently, you may be asking, 
asking yourself, what happened in November that caused such a big spike in viewers? Well, am I glad you asked, my friend? Let's talk about the Roshler slash Roshlerette, now known as Lover Host. If you're a fan of Minx, chances are you're familiar with the show Lover Host, formerly known as the Roshler slash Roshlerette. However, if you're not familiar, go check out my video on it after you're done watching this one, of course. It even features Minx in it. But I'll give you a quick explanation of the show here nonetheless. Lover Host is a Twitch dating show run by Austin, who used to be known as Raj, but recently transitioned away from using that name due to its somewhat controversial past, in order to start using his real name instead. The show's concept is the exact same as The Bachelor and Bachelorette, respectively. And that's also the reason it was once called The Roshler slash Roshlerette. The only difference being that each of the show's contestants will either pick a love or host. If love is chosen, the winning contestant will get to make a video or do a live stream with the person the episode is dedicated to, and if host is chosen, the contestant will get a host on Twitch from said person. Now that you're aware of what the show is, Minx has made an appearance on quite a few of the episodes. However, the one that really brought her into the line light was the Call Me Carson Rogler back in November of 2019. Considering it was the first highly viewed episode she went on, and aside from that, Minx made it to the top two, competing against Kate Arino and unfortunately losing. However, it wasn't a complete loss since after this, people started to take notice of her amusing personality and thus she began to average hundreds of viewers each and every single stream. It's no surprise that after this, Minx continued to appear on Austin's shows. She even had her own show just a few months ago back in April. Although it wasn't until she met Schlatt on his Roshler that things started to take off even more. Let's talk about their friendship and its impacts. Ever since the Schlatt Roshler dropped back in January, Minx has become very good friends with him. As a matter of fact, Minx won the Roshler, but made the mistake of picking host instead of love. Hell, I mean, in the latest Lover Host episode with Alexandra Botez, Minx joined the call at the end of it to yell at Austin until Schlatt initiates war with his iconic line, Fuck you, you dumb bro! And then, well, as you can expect, chaos ensues. I think Schlatt was just really heartbroken that Alexandra picked Fedmeister, and not him, so he took his quote-unquote rage out on Minx, telling her that she wished that she had picked love, you wish you picked love me. Me. and ending it with saying that he's got a gun. This is essentially what the relationship between Minx and Schlatt boils down to. The line between a bit and reality is so heavily blurred, at times you can't tell what's what. Actually, just yesterday as of the time I'm writing this, Schlatt blocked Minx on Twitter and you'll just see replies to the tweet asking whether or not it's a bit. But this is what makes the relationship entertaining to the viewers, hence why they work so well together. There are countless examples of this in action. Just by simply searching Minx and Schlatt or Minx J Schlatt on YouTube, you'll be greeted by tons of videos, most of which have tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of views, and the odd one here and there with over a million. There's no doubt in my mind that there will be many more of these to come in the future, and I'll sure as hell be looking forward to them. I reached out to a few of Minx's friends and mutuals to get their opinions on why and how she has risen to such popularity over the past few months, and here's what they had to say. I think Minx is one of those people who's just completely herself on stream. Her sense of humor and her, let's say, special relationship with her viewers really makes her stand out. In my eyes, she was she was made for this. And thanks to Austin, with giving her a chance to prove herself in front of a larger audience, it was just meant to happen. It's so easy to fall in love with her. She is hilarious. Even when she's just sitting around, chilling, talking to chat. Her streams and her way of streaming wouldn't work for anyone else. Like, it's her personality is so closely tied to her way of streaming. And she really cares about her audience. She might address chat as a bunch of useless cunts and sims most of the time, but it's clear that she's so appreciative of her supporters. I think she's, she's awesome. And I just know that she will keep growing, just like she has these last few months. I'm really proud of her. The Rush show played a big part on why she got popular because people got the chance to meet her more and to know that chaotic personality that became so iconic 
with the with the time. On the show, she stood out from the rest of the people because she kept on being herself, and I think people fell in love with that. It's not the usual girl you see on those type of shows, you know? And the more people got to know her, the more people stayed. But the main thing that I've noticed is that she can be entertaining on her own and she doesn't depend on other people to be funny. And that's why her streams are actually so successful. And I honestly hope she never changes because she's so unique, she's so funny and such a fucking great person, man. She respects the art community deeply and that makes us artists so happy and feel so welcomed. Why do I think Minx has risen in popularity over the past few months? Because she's relatable, she's fun to watch, she's a sweet woman and she's got a heart of gold in the mouth of a fucking sailor. And she smells like shit. That's why Minx is popular now. Thank you to everyone who participated in the video. I really appreciate them. The links will be on the screen right now, as well as in the description down below. I also figured I'd take this time to send out a personal message to Minx, just in case she does happen to be watching. Minx, you're such a unique streamer. You're not your average run-of-the-mill female streamer, and your community loves that about you. As Tony said, you were clearly made to entertain people. Hell, you, you yourself have even said that you've always wanted a job in the entertainment industry and now that you have it, you should hang on to it for dear life. So many people would kill to be in your position. And as you and I both know, we're going to be content creators forever. And that's why we must take advantage of the opportunity while it's still there. Opportunities like these are one in a lifetime. However, at the end of the day, it's your life not ours. So whether you decide to take up the prison officer job or not, we the viewers will always care about you, love you deeply, always be there to support you, and have your back in your times of need. We'll always wish you the best in your future endeavors, and whatever they may be, we hope that it'll involve a few laughs along the way. Thank you for all you do. But besides that, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, I'll see you next one.